Hey, how's it going guys? So today I've got some actually really good news to share with you all. So over the weekend, of course, was the Black Ops 4 multiplayer beta and uh, I got to take part in it because Activision were very kind enough to send me some beta codes. First of all, like I I'm ecstatic for it. It showed me that my channel has kind of done its purpose in a way. It's been officially recognized. At the same time though, I want you guys to know that like just because I got that and you know I'm not gonna like kind of stop showing my true thoughts or what I think of things if Black Ops saw a shit then Black Ops saw a shit I'm not gonna tone down what I say just you know I got a gift from them uh, and secondly you know this is like I'm doing a video of course on the, the beta uh, I only experienced the first day really a little bit of the second day but couldn't really do the third day um, so this is all mainly based on the first day of um, of course, you know, this is a multiplayer video, but I'm not going to become a multiplayer guy, you know, obviously if that is Zombies Beta, I do fucking Zombies Beta, you know, I do a video on that, but Beta is going to be shaping the game and, you know, if I can give my thoughts on it and hopefully, you know, along with other people, we can shape the game into something better because there are some real criticisms that I've seen around. So yeah, I just wanted to say thanks again Activision and we'll get right into it. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the menu. Now, uh, it's okay so far, you know, pretty, uh, you know, nice visuals, some nice music going on. Uh, the first thing I noticed though is that you could kind of control it with the left joystick like it was a mouse. You know what I mean? Uh, like you could just move it around to select the things. Uh, but in doing that, you couldn't use the D-pad to go up, down, left, right, turn around, you know, all that kind of shit. Uh, so that is one thing I'd like to see addressed, you know, sometimes I just want to use my control, use the left D-pad just to go right, 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 down and down, up, up, up. You know, you memorize the spots and you can do things much faster rather than just moving the left stick around to get to the spot you need. So that's hopefully something they address. Now the specialist system in this game is a little different to Black Ops 3. I don't know if I find it better or not, but, you know, time will tell. Uh, instead of having, you know, grenades in your R1 slot, your default is a specialist ability. So for example, I think it's a Ruin, he's got like a grapple gun, Nomad I believe has a flashbane, and uh, Seraph, she's got a tactical beacon, or just you know, tack insert. So it does add a new level of play, but you can replace those with a frag grenade as you level up. Your L1 ability now is of course no longer a tactical grenade, but a health respawn, because you have to manually heal yourself now. I do like that, I think it's a little nice, a um, bit more urgency, a bit more thinking to it instead of just your random health regen. What was also nice is that you know with each specialist you do get a little video and uh, a little explanation as to how they work what their kind of ultimate ability is. Now next up I want to talk about the lobby system. It's actually pretty you know simple same as every other Call of Duty except the timing was way way too long. I think all up it was maybe 90 seconds to two minutes you know to even get into a lobby than to get into a map. I think it's like 30 seconds or 20 to choose your map and then there's another 80 seconds after that and I was like what is the point of 80 seconds? You know I, I don't understand a map in as it does that but uh, that's just no let us just that take too long. I, I, I need to shorten that so I really hope that is changed. Now once that finally finishes you actually get to a nice little scenic uh, view of the map but it's a bit different from just a static image of it like past codes. So that was a nice change up. Now a couple of times the loading of the map would take so long that the match would already start and people would have already spawned in. But I'm not spawned in yet, the map's still technically loading. So when it does spawn in, it automatically chooses a specialist for me. Not necessarily the one I wanted. And I have to spend time picking this, like pressing start, going to the specialist I want and choosing that. And it's really annoying. I don't, like I'm hoping they fix that. Um, but obviously sometimes you're going to auto join a match. So I think they should make it where you should have a preferred specialist and it will always pick that no matter what. Now the gameplay itself was boots on ground so I was super happy about that. One of the things I did notice is that your minimap kind of has a fog of war now. So you see like a little compass area and where it's all highlighted around you, even if you're not looking in that direction, if an enemy is in that little area, they'll pop up as a red dot. So I don't know if I like that or not because obviously how can you see an enemy behind you? and for it to pop up on your minimap, you know? Uh, so maybe they should just have that ahead, but I do like the fog of war idea. I just think that needs a little bit of tinkering. The guns themselves, I, I guess there's not really much to say. They felt 
good, I guess. I mean, all guns feel nice to use. They, the sounds felt nice. They felt heavy. Um, rocket launch felt a little underpowered. As well as that, I felt like I couldn't really take out UAVs, counter UAVs, or helicopters half the time because some maps have a lot of cover. So I couldn't even, you know, find certain spots. One thing that could be a problem, and I have noticed a lot of people bring it up, is the armor you can pick. Now, I thought it was a bit OP, especially when you're fighting an enemy that has it. And the only way I felt I could really compete is if I had it on myself, so that way I'd last in the battle with them. Another way to counter them was to use AP rounds, armor piercing rounds. It's a little attachment you can add to certain guns, not all of them, unfortunately. Um, but I felt like the meta, like the whole thing is just armor and armor piercing rounds. And I think they even need to be heavily modified or just removed because it, I, it just, you know, you don't want people to just choose one gun all at the same time. You want variety. Uh, and with those two choices, I don't think there's going to be a lot of variety, especially just picking armor. Now the maps themselves, I didn't have much of a problem with, but some of them I could kind of tell they were made with jetpacks in mind. There was a map that had a sniper spot in it, and the weird thing is, is that there was only one way up to it, as far as I know, and that was going through the church itself to get up there. Now, the other side of the map usually tends to have the same kind of area, you know, just a sniping spot out a window or whatever. You can get up from this window from the front, so there's two areas, the normal way and then like through the window itself by jumping. At this church spot, you cannot, there is no way you can be able to jump up there, unless I somehow missed the platform or whatever, but you just can't do it so the only way in is just one way and you could just have people camp up there for days and I don't know it's just something I noticed like with the map design itself I feel like with windows there needs to be a second way to get in there now when the map finishes or the time runs out you get a little slow-mo to show that and I love slow-mo so much so that's a nice little touch and instead of uh, the final kill final kill cam it's the best play so that's kind of something from Overwatch that they've taken, but I think that's really nice. Um, half the time it felt like I was wondering, like, is that really the best play? Um, I think I got on there a couple of times, um, and I was pretty happy with that. I'm not the best player, uh, but getting on there, I just felt nice. You know, everyone seeing me. And yeah, I think that's actually uh, it. Um, I had a lot of fun with the beta. I will definitely give it a go next week. I don't know if I'll record it and make a video. It depends if there's any substantial updates. But no, I had a lot of fun with it. I definitely will be purchasing Black Ops 4 now. I'll definitely be playing the multiplayer. Um, I'm happy with it. I could use a few changes and adjustments. Obviously, I'm not the fucking king of multiplayer. So don't take this video as like the word of God or whatever. Obviously, go on, you know, the Black Ops 4 subreddit or you know, obviously multiplayer YouTubers and listen to them because they would know best more than me. But, you know, just my thoughts on it and I was pretty damn happy with it, guys. So <laughs> anyway, that's it for me, guys, and uh, I'll catch you later. Cheers.